We're much about what we give our time, attention, and love. We enjoy sharing and following friends, family, colleagues, and inspirational leaders aligned with our passions and interests in a hyper-connected world. We're all about tribes. We join tribes to speak to us and align with our vibe. In Tribe Goals, we share time with key lifestyle and industry change makers as they share some of their inspirations, thinking, and flow with their communities. We'll see how they started and grew their tribe, as well as which they have joined, and how that has fueled them every other week. I'm your host, Kimmy Smith, and we'll navigate our favorites in our show, Tribe Goals. We've been aware of celebrity fitness trainer Lacey Stone for a number of years. She has parlayed her talents as a celebrity trainer on E's Revenge Body with Khloe Kardashian for the past two seasons of the show. We sat down with Lacey to talk about how this basketball player became interested in becoming a fitness trainer and how she catapulted it into taking on celeb clients working with various fitness methods, how she inspires others as well as who inspires her. In this episode of Tribe Goals, we get the scoop on a number of upcoming projects and the importance of body, mind, and soul when you're making changes in your life, whether it's meeting a fitness goal or taking other important steps. This episode of Tribe Goals is brought to you in part by Core Power Protein Shakes by Fairlife. So when did you know that you wanted to be in the fitness industry? So I always played sports and then I I actually moved to New York Mm -hmm. when I was younger, like, you know a kid mm-hmm. and I tried to work for MTV and I just kind of saw mm-hmm. what it is to not wear sneakers anymore <laughs> uh-huh. and I, I don't know if you are familiar with kind of being a production assistant mm-hmm. or anything like that. I was a telecom major and oh. so yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of like these people are so unhealthy so I got a side job of, of working as a trainer at wow. Equinox and I saw what you could be in the fitness industry before it was anything. Like mm-hmm. it's, it was like right at the beginning when they were starting to sponsor us yeah. as Nike athletes. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is this is it. Yeah. Like I know I can make an impact in this industry because mm-hmm. it's so organic. Absolutely. Um, and a lot of a lot of what I saw at the time, there wasn't hit interval classes. Mm-hmm. I was one of the first. When you come on a dance, they're taught very to look the uh-huh. part, yeah. which I was never taught to look the part, mm-hmm. and I was taught to be the be the yeah. be the athlete. So yeah. my body had to mm-hmm. be a weapon, wow. not like great. Yep. Um, and I was like, the women in this industry need to understand that it's not about how you look; it's mm-hmm. about how you feel and how strong you are. Yep. And that's kind of what I've stood by the whole time, mm-hmm. which is why this is totally organic because. Women don't realize how strong they are. Right. So when I kick their butt, they're just like, yeah. Like I even compliment them. Mm-hmm. Like you are tough, and she, yeah. they're like, Emma, like, Meh. Yeah. and I'm kind of like, girl, <laughs> what are you talking about? You're waking up at five. You're yeah. putting on your superhero leggings. Mm-hmm. You're going to <laughs> let me like kick your butt in a way that you didn't even know. You don't even yeah. know how much I am kicking your butt. Then you take care of business at the office, especially mm-hmm. in New York. Hey, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> We're in Chicago. And then a lot of women are, like, coming home and <laughs> cooking dinner, making yep. sure the family is taken care of, mm-hmm. the husband, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's kids as well. So I'm just kind of like, you guys got to take care of yourself. You got to eat. Yeah. You got to just take, you know, they for, women forget to take care of themselves. Absolutely. Not only, like, not only with the food, but, like, with their heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. You have, like, a whole psychology aspect to when you're training with your people. Yeah. Um, is that draining for you as a trainer? Because you're fixing the body, but you're also getting into the mind. Like, how do you deal with that interplay? Um, sometimes it can get really emotional mm-hmm. because people have different issues. Yeah. But it's really rewarding to watch someone's eyes go mm-hmm. from... I can't yeah. to I can, mm-hmm. not only in the gym, but outside of the gym, mm-hmm. because I'm trying to create superheroes. Right. I am, which in a sense is knowing how powerful you are. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times when people are blocked in how hard they can run on the treadmill or mm-hmm. lift weights because they don't think they're strong enough, I, I go back to when did this happen? Who told yeah. you? Because it doesn't happen with men as often. They're just like, I used to be like this, I'm going to be back like this. Yeah. Um, and 
when I, when when they cry, mm-hmm. everyone cries that works out with me. <laughs> everyone. Because I've been through a lot, yeah. and I can look in someone's eyes and be like, what did you go through? Yeah. And let's make that your motivation mm-hmm. for the rest of your life. That thing that's making you not believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. And... It, it's not it's it's the moment that I feel like I've changed them when I can get to that point mm-hmm. and yes there's a lot of stuff that goes on after that like I'm dealing with someone right now that's potentially um, she's so scared of the release she's have, having that it's making her want to hide again yeah and the pain that she has because the more you repeat a negative pattern the more mm-hmm. it becomes your reality yeah. You get addicted to the chaos. Yep. And you don't even know how to live without it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I majored in psychology in college. Yeah. Um, I figure, because I'm just like watching you and I'm just like, okay, there's a lot of psychology playing huge. here. Yeah. And I believe fitness starts in the mind before the gym. So the answer is it is draining <clears throat> at times, but mm-hmm. it's draining any job. Right. And it's my skill set that I feel is different than other trainers. Mm-hmm. Um, that I have been able to help people change their body. Mm-hmm. But I'm like very proud of I've been able to help people get through divorces, deaths, mm-hmm. leaving, um, quitting jobs and creating companies. Like, wow. And wow. we're finding now that I've launched my vir- virtual training platform mm-hmm. and it's such a um, competitive market. Mm-hmm. Everyone's launching a virtual train. Like, yes. if you want to write it, what's the future of fitness? Mm-hmm. Virtual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beyond. Mm-hmm. Beyond, beyond. I have people coming up to me and being like, can we use your body and the way you speak and AI and make, Whoa. yeah, and make you show up and Seriously? walk around. Wow. Yeah, it's the future. It's very strange. That is... It's not... Girl, this so was I strange. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This was strange. I'm telling you. So... That's amazing. I love that. Well, because if there's a trainer you love working with, mm-hmm. the idea of them being with you and you still getting that vibe like the trainer I work with, as soon as I hear his voice in my head, I'm just yes. like, all right, I gotta like... Yeah, that's and cool. And then they're coming up with sensitive suits in the sense mm-hmm. that you could wear an outfit and... You would feel my hands. What? That's what? cool. So like course correct. It's algorithms. Uh, mm-hmm. Everything is algorithms, which is why you can open your phone with your with face. Your face yeah. So they can sense your eyes. They sense the algorithm of eyes, nose, and mouth. And your pu- you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they can sense the algorithm of shoulder. So my point of differentiation with all other trainers is this. So I'm getting like more into this mm-hmm. side of fitness because I believe I believe that um, emotional health is the most like not talked about thing absolutely in in the world mm-hmm. you're supposed to be tough you're supposed to handle your life you're not supposed to mm-hmm. have feelings of insecurity or doubt yep. and if you do people sense it especially in New York and they're like yeah. oh I see the blood exactly I'm gonna <laughs> you're, you're done yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so you know sometimes I think actually I want to help people, you know, make make this healthy. Mm-hmm. You can tell me. You don't have to tell everyone else. Yeah. Tell me. And if it's out of my depth, depth I'll, we'll work together with a therapist. But, mm-hmm. like, tell me where your weakness is and let's just work on that not being something that is is getting in the way of your fitness, mm-hmm. of your relationships, of of you. Wow. So for you, what are your three routines that you do for yourself that you love, whether it be fitness or just your mind balance type of situation that are like the cornerstones of you getting from day to day? Um, I have the three pillars of your life, which is personal, professional, and physical. Those are the three things that Mm -hmm. make a human being. Mm -hmm. So you know, what is personally, what's happening. I think about that all the time. Who do you surround yourself with? The truth, or do you surround yourself with um, trends and all that, Mm -hmm. or people that don't believe in your magic? Mm -hmm. Because if you surround yourself, the majority, there are going to be people that are like that in your life. Mm -hmm. Life is a superhero movie. 
there there are <laughs> evils out there. Yeah. And they can make you take you to the darkness, or you can be the superhero that continues to show up mm-hmm. and be the light that doesn't allow that to take over you. Which the more people that get taken over the harder it will be for all of us to succeed. So personally, what's going on? My relationships, my family, I'm always working on bringing goodness to them um, so that I feel good. When I wake up, what's my first thought? Mm -hmm. I play the greatest by Sia. That's my alarm. (laughs) I love that. You got to have stamina. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. I got stamina. You know, that's one of the lines Mm -hmm. in the song. So personally, professionally, like, what, what, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Does it light you up? If it doesn't, which a lot of people didn't figure that out at a young age, then that's something that you have to be good at and then find something else that lights you up Mm -hmm. in your life. Physically, are you injured? Do you take care of yourself? What are you putting inside your body? Exactly. <laughs> to make you succeed. And every day I try to get an A mm-hmm. in all three categories. Create balance. I love that. And some days maybe I don't do as well in mm-hmm. one category, but at least I know that I'm doing I'm doing my best right. every day. Every day I'm doing my best and I have I train people to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, and wow. when you do that for a week you feel amazing but imagine if you did that every single day yeah. and anytime I fall down mm-hmm. in my career yeah. I remember the people that have fallen down that I train mm-hmm. and I if I'm going to tell them that they have to get up yeah. it gives me it gives me um, it makes me do it otherwise I would be a phony right and I'm not a phony are you writing a book with your... No, because it's just... <laughs> good. Yeah. I just yeah, love, like... You're like a force, but I love how it's just very honest and how you Let's can, write a book. I mean, because I'm just like, wow, that's amazing. Because it's applicable towards anything in life, you know? Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. there's... Yeah, there. I'm. That is my point of differentiation. So yeah. I'm trying to communicate that more. And as you know, the landscape is changing very quickly. Everyone's trying to figure out how to make it happen. Yep. No one reads anymore. Maybe yeah. we do, but it's based off of images and a yeah. copy. Yeah. And the copy has to, the copy of the Instagram has to be short. Exactly. And powerful. And you have to hit people at their heart, which I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, I would love to... I just want to make everyone feel like they can do it. That's my dream. Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. I love that. I love it. So in terms of recovery, what are all the things that people should be doing for that, especially women? terms of recovery mm-hmm. but to answer your question yes mm-hmm. I am with the virtual platform I am trying to do that I, assume, I, should, have, yeah. I should have said that directly um, in terms of recovery uh, I just think it's really important that they think about taking care of themselves mm-hmm. women don't so it's like if you're kicking butt and you want to everyone every woman's thinking about losing weight mm-hmm. um, you need to fuel your body in order for it to be successful mm-hmm if it's operating at a deficit, it's gonna it's gonna break down mentally or physically. Yeah, you know it. Um, so I see it over and over again. So that's why I suggest, you know, I, it sounds like a commercial, but that's why I suggest people use this. Yeah. Um, because I I wasn't really. I don't know. You know, you get a product, and for me, I try it out for yeah. for a while mm-hmm. before I agreed to work with it. I started with the milk yeah. with them, Air Life, and I just was like, okay, Alex, who's my manager? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So I threw it in my bag. Yeah. And then I, I'm a busy human, so I'd be like, okay, I'm going to drink this. And I would drink it. And I'd be worried because yeah. of everything that they say, like yeah. milk. Is it going to bloat me? Like, what's going to yeah. happen? Mm-hmm. And it didn't. And it gave me, like, a surge of energy mm-hmm. because you start believing the media as well. Yeah. Um, even though I know what's right and what's wrong. Mm-hmm. 
so I would drink it and it would actually I would feel like a goodness mm-hmm. throughout my body yeah like it brought me home to the truth a little bit of like you well I'm from Wisconsin mm-hmm. and not a Midwest okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> and I was like oh this is what this is what it it tastes like like it's pure yeah and these other ones taste watered down and not good exactly but this tastes like silky and creamy and I, you need to fuel your your muscles after you work out. Mm-hmm. You just need to fuel yourself. Yeah. Um, so I suggest that they eat, which is very scary for women, which is also hard eating. Uh-huh. Maybe it's not hard anywhere, but what I deal with is people that they're just so confused by everything out there. Yeah. Um, and that's why I try to be truthful because you'll believe me. Mm-hmm. Sleep. What are you doing, guys? Like yeah. sleep and water as well. Like mm-hmm. the toxic environment of what you're putting into your body all the time. You need mm-hmm. to put the pure things back in in order it, to balance it out. Yeah. The evil and the good. How do you feel that women should approach coming into the holiday season in terms of like enjoying all the parties and the festivities, and then having the proper mindset that they can enjoy that, and then get back to like doing workouts and different things like that after the holiday season. I think that this place is talking about holiday season. Right? <laughs> right into it. Like, that, was, okay. that was perfect. That was just planned, you know. I think that, you know, I work, I, they work so hard and they don't care, take care of themselves. And I think during the holidays, it's really important to get connected. Yeah. It's a time in your life where you get a chance to reconnect with yourself and your spirit and the loved ones that you have. Yeah. So I really think you need to think about going home and having, like, sweet conversations, being like, you know what? I'm sorry I wasn't there this year, but we're here now, so let's, like... I love that. Let's make the most of... And I want to remind you how much I... I love you, and, you know... Wow. Like, that's the time to do that. And be like, I'm going to go back to war. Right. But, like, right now, right now. we're at peace, mm-hmm. you know, so let's do that. And let's remember, like, how far we came. Like, whenever I go home, I drive to my high school where I was the star basketball player and just sit on the court and go, <laughs> I took all this and did something with it. Wow. You know, um, and if you didn't do things with it, like, why? Why did you stop doing the thing that made you feel special. Mm-hmm. Take a time to bring it back so that you have this full... People don't underestimate the physics of a human being. is based off neutrons, electrons, and protons. Mm-hmm. We're energy. Yeah. As much as we get... You're made up of energy. I love you're that. a miracle. You're a miracle. How do you breathe? I just love her. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, we all are this special thing. Like, our parents, these people, came together and created us. Like, people just, like, take a moment and bring it back to that. Fill up your energy again. You know, think about, actually take the time to slow down and think. Um, don't focus on what's what you need, like, um, like losing weight, focus on just right. staying steady, um, and, you know, go on those walks with your family, cook together, healthfully, try to, and I can say, like, you want a quick fix thing, okay, yeah. right. you're gonna eat crazy during the day, then, then don't eat too much during the day, eat right. super healthy, you don't want to, fine, do a double workout the next day, like, mm-hmm. Go, go to your gym and do one of, oh, you don't have time? Download Lisa Stone Fitness Virtual <laughs> Training Platform. You can do it in your home, anywhere, anytime. You want to keep your energy up and you're on the go. Well, grab a core power. <laughs> in terms of a methodology, you have some trainers who believe in, like, if you're a certain body type, this is the pre- prescribed workouts you have to do. Or I only do this particular thing over here. What's your focus when you're training people? Do you have something set or is it individualized? It's individualized, mm-hmm. but for everyone it's back to basics just so that you can... The more you do something, the more you repeat something, mm-hmm. the, the better you'll get at it. Yeah. Negative or positive. Mm-hmm. So.
also like I try to see when I'm training them what's the thing that they I can tell mm -hmm. that they dig. I'm good at all the different modalities of fitness, so I have yoga, dance, um, high intensity intervals, cardio. I, you know, because mm -hmm. I want to find the fit for each of my clients. So let's say you're sedentary. We're gonna walk before we run. I think that the best workout for losing weight mm -hmm. is there's an intermediate advanced, uh, intermediate beginner advanced level mm -hmm. to all programs I do mm -hmm. in person yeah. or online. I love that. Um, <laughs> high intensity interval workouts. It gets your it gets your endorphins up, energy. Mm -hmm. It raises your spirit, which when you feel that, you want to do it again and again. It's highly addictive. Wow. Who are three people that empowered you that, you know, there were three moments in your life, let's say, that were really hard, but those three people inspired you, whether you knew them or didn't know them, to push you to the next level? Um, I'd say my college basketball career, my coach, she was like incredibly charismatic mm -hmm. um, and she had a great marketing mind like we were in Maine and we were top 10 mm -hmm. basketball team she how do you recruit people to go to a place where snow is up yeah. to your knees <laughs> she was so charismatic that she drew an audience um, to we had a full you want to play in front of a full thing mm -hmm. and she was able she's like I'm going to use this to help kids but also create basketball camps and become a millionaire because people around the country are going to come to like I was like who are you wow. you know and she used that to I thought that was really not that money is everything but I just thought it's so amazing how you can think of you can think to to be a businesswoman in an in, in, like in sports like mm -hmm. I was like there weren't that many female coaches at the time that were successful. Like, that's awesome. Um, and then I'd say that, and then Equinox, mm -hmm. where I started when fitness was um, not where it is today. They were the innovators of everything, which is that created the boutique yep. industry. Mm -hmm. um, and the teachers there were very inspiring to me. Um, I've had so many different things I think and then <clears throat> my ex-wife mm -hmm. being in LA me facing my fears leaving New York where I had created this amazing um, business that was dedicated to helping people teamwork creating a kind of like I was on the verge of creating like a legacy yeah. signed by Nike all these things for love mm -hmm. for what my core said to do mm -hmm. and then her leaving me within a couple of months and my friend dying mm -hmm. um to the and not having Equinox anymore mm -hmm. losing everything and just kind of being like what do I want again having the time to do that yeah um, and kind of like starting to drink too much, starting to be depressed, starting, I got like a little suicidal myself because I lost everything. I felt like everything that defined me mm -hmm. and starting my program, which is like personal, professional, physical, right. don't drink, work out hard, like, let's see if I can save myself. Mm -hmm. I did. I created the eight weeks change program for others that were going through a similar needing a comeback. Yeah. It became wildly successful. Chloe Kardashian mm -hmm. noticed me, a new trainer going from New York to LA. You know how many trainers there are in LA? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I stood out immediately. They picked me for the TV show yeah. and I said, Thank you, ex wife. <laughs> Had it not been for you destroying yeah. my life. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have created this thing mm -hmm. that has now catapulted me to a point that I've been able to create a virtual platform that I got a manager that is amazing that that has helped me to be able to speak and be here back in New York yeah absolutely back in my town wow. where we you know what I mean mm -hmm. it's like full circle and you know signing with brands where I can speak authentically about them 
um, and just being the light mm -hmm. that if I can do it, you can do it. I love that. Will you be back for the next season of Revenge Body? I, I'm i not coming back for the third, mm -hmm. but there's going to be a fourth. I remember the first episode that I saw you on, I'm like, Lacey's there. Wow. I have a bunch of other things going on, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of, again, I'm kind of happy that it went that way, because yeah. I wouldn't have had mm -hmm. time. Exactly. Because you, just to explain, you get so caught up in being on a show, mm -hmm. and the time that it takes to yep. be on that show, that you don't have time to develop other things. Mm -hmm. What does the partnership look like between you guys and Fairlife? Um... Basically, it's just me being a part of their team. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing some events. We're working on that. Oh, nice. Where mm -hmm. we're just getting, you know, we're getting the product in people's hands, mm -hmm. communicating it to them. And we have a bunch of different ideas that we're we not, do. we can't really <laughs> no, talk yeah, about yet. Yeah. But, you know, if you think about it, we're just trying to get to people's core mm -hmm. power. Mm -hmm. Just about physical, it's about the whole the whole, the wholeness of a human being. Right. So if mm -hmm. you got something out of it, I love that. No, it's just like, it's kind of like hydration. It's mental hydration. Just hearing oh, you. Nice. Oh, okay. You need to use that. <laughs> yeah. Or you mental recovery. Yeah, exactly. It's, I mean, because just listening to it, I mean, even like you were talking about, you could be a very strong person, whatever, but you need to be refueled. And just sitting there listening to you, and you know, I have respected your career for a number of years. So just seeing you just... That's who you are. That's it. You know, because a lot of times you do meet people that after seeing them on various platforms and TV, and you see it in reality, and you're like, wow, that person's a mess. <laughs> that person is not exactly like what their brand is, but just seeing you and like the authenticity, like it's just very refreshing. Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I know that you're energized from the insights on today's episode of Tribe Goals. Make sure to follow us on your favorite podcast platform, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, SoundCloud, and Stitcher Premium. Tribe Goals is a member of the Multimedia Podcast Network Athleisure Studio, part of Athleisure Media, and Athleisure Mag. Visit us at athleisurestudio.com backslash tribe goals and follow us on Instagram at tribe.goals to see new episodes of Tribe Goals as well as to see what other shows we have launched throughout our network. Tribe Goals is hosted by me, Kimmy Smith, and is executive produced by Paul Farkas and myself. Our theme music, Rough and Deep, performed by Jerkalet. I'll be back in two weeks with our next Tribe Goals guest.